Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. We do have some rain moving through here this morning. This is a look out of our clay center camera. Every once in a while you can kind of see a raindrop pass in front of the weather camera lens and you can look uh, fairly closely there on the parking lot lights uh, near the airport where we can see some of that rain falling. It's just a little bit hard to see uh, on this shot here, but Otherwise, we are expecting more of that rain to arrive as we go throughout the morning hours, pretty much area wide. So if you're not seeing rain now, you most likely will later. So you may want to just pack the umbrellas uh, just to be on the safe side here as we go throughout this morning. 69 degrees here in Topeka. Winds are out of the north and east at five miles an hour. So we're really not expecting much of a breeze today, but we are expecting these showers to fill in across much of northeast Kansas here soon. So we're already seeing some of that moderate rain in our northwestern counties, and we're seeing some light rain showers, maybe even some sprinkles. Uh, to the south and east too. Now throughout the rest of the morning, future track will take a quick look here. Starts at 7 a.m. You can see that's picking up on where we've got the heaviest rain right now in our northwestern counties. But throughout the rest of the morning, closer to lunchtime, we'll start to see more showers working their way in, at least to our southern and eastern counties too. Rain starts to taper off though later on this evening, and we'll eventually see clearing skies heading into tomorrow. But rain stays nearby at least through the overnight hours, and that's going to keep our cloud cover a little bit more on the stubborn side, even through the first half of the daytime Tuesday. We'll eventually see our clouds clearing out. So we'll call it mostly cloudy to start, partly cloudy to end it with some sunshine throughout the evening hours on Tuesday. And then we'll see clear skies heading into early Wednesday. That could lead to a pretty chilly night here, or especially waking up early Wednesday. We may have temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s. Gorgeous day though coming up for Wednesday too. Full on sunshine, a nice chance to dry out and we'll have some pretty good temperatures as well. Winds are pretty light, about 5 to almost 10 miles per hour, and we'll see our winds out of the north and northeast through the daytime today. We do have that northerly component now in our winds, and that's going to help us out in the temperature department too, helping to keep things just a little bit cooler than where we've seen them really over the last week and a half or so. So winds today will be about 5 to 10 miles per hour, dropping back throughout this evening. Temperatures are starting off in the upper 50s to low 60s to the northwest where we have the rain, upper 60s close to 70 towards the east. Before and as we get the rain to start falling, we'll eventually see our temperatures dropping just a little bit more as we go throughout the daytime. So we may actually cool down maybe even into the upper 50s to low 60s by the time we get to the late afternoon hours. So a little bit of a chillier day than what we've been used to, certainly, and temperatures really don't go very far tonight with all that cloud cover. Tomorrow, though, gorgeous day. I think we'll have temperatures climbing up into the low to even mid 70s. Uh, if we can get, you know, a little more sunshine late in the day, I think these mid to upper 70s, probably not too far out of the question here, but I think maybe low to mid 70s is more on the order of what we're looking at here, especially if those clouds are a little bit more stubborn. We do get warmer though for Wednesday, temperatures in the lower 80s. That's pretty close to where we should be though for this time of the year. Our next chance for storms arrives late Thursday and into Friday, and then we do dry out again for the weekend.